How's it going guys? My name is Nick, you're on the Roadsway South and thank you so much for joining me on a brand new video. Now, as you can see from the title down below, today we're gonna to be chasing down the zero to 100 time of this red Toyota GT86 right here behind me. So the long time subscribers between the lot of you might remember that we've done this video actually a few years ago. The difference now is though, that this car's performance has been pushed to a whole new level. Thanks to the hardworking people at ATM Chip Tuning in Cape Town, this car is now actually running on their very latest Stage 1 tune. Jumping into the power figures though, the car actually came out stock, I believe, with 147 kilowatts, which is just about 200 horsepower, as well as 205 newton meters of torque. As you can see from the graph, I hopefully am overlaying somewhere around about here, the car is actually now pushing out a whopping 162 kilowatts with an astonishing 247 newton meters of torque. Now, it is important to mention that these power figures are on the flywheel and the ones measured by the wheels will be probably significantly less. Now, the time we'll be chasing down today will be around about 7.2 seconds to 100, which is the time we managed to set down the previous time we did the video, um, which is actually a lot faster than the quota time as per Toyota. Now, conditions vary across the world, obviously. Uh, I think Toyota quotes a 7.6, and like I said, we managed to get a 7.2. Now, the secret weapon that I've actually got up my sleeve is the fact that ATM very kindly has tuned in a launch control um, into the software of this car. So luckily I'll have that to my advantage. The only tricky part is I'll have to make sure that I get the traction down. It was raining a little bit earlier this morning, but we've checked it out. The tar is very dry at the moment. My tires are probably a little bit cold, but hopefully after a few runs, I'll be able to get a good time down. The only other snag with the launch control is the fact that as many of you might be aware, regular cars that have launch control usually launch at about 4,000, maybe 5,000 RPM. However, ATM have tuned this car to launch at, wait for it, 6,000 RPM. So yes, keeping that power down is going to be a little bit of a mission today, especially because the car is quite light, engine at the front, so the rear wheels don't have all that weight on them, but the distribution of weight is quite good on this car. Um, I'll just have to play it by uh, do my best to get the car's traction down. I also want to show you guys that the road we are working on today is super flat it's very clean tarmac seems good and dry and we're just yeah every time trying to do our very best to make the videos fair especially when quoting zero to 100 times and i believe it's as simple as that uh, before i get talking too long let's hop in the car and see what we can do So it's a little bit later in the day now and I've actually had time to go through all of the footage. Everything's down here on my phone. But I think I did close to like 19 runs today with this car. And I know that sounds very excessive. I just wanted to make sure that the car, uh, yeah, I, I give the car a chance to get as close as possible to its base zero to 100 time. Um, and plus it's my own car, so I was probably a little bit stubborn, pushed it further than that was required. But I'm quite happy. Uh, the car's also quite happy. I'm very surprised that the car didn't give me any issues throughout the entire day. Maybe just a little bit of loss of traction. What's not so hard to believe though is the fact that with the launch control being so high, 
I struggled quite a bit to get some grip into the tires uh, and just hooking up the car as I launched it off the line. I mistakenly said that the car launches at 6,000 RPM. The launch control is actually programmed to 5,500 RPM, which is still quite relatively high. Um, the other thing I never mentioned in the start is the fact that the car's only got a quarter of a tank of fuel. I thought it would be good for the time. Ironically though, I think that took a lot of weight off the rear wheels and that's what resulted in me just not hooking the car up properly. Funny enough, I actually recorded a bunch of times that were actually worse than when the car was still stock just because of all the wheel spin. So I had to use like a mixture between the programmed in launch control and then some runs just doing it the good old fashioned way with clutch uh, and the handbrake here. So ironically, I actually think my two best times were when I launched it manually. But funny enough, I, I realized that I launched it at the same RPM that the launch control was programmed into. So effectively, it just comes down to how you release the clutch. But to make a long story short, as you guys were able to see, I was able to beat my last time. I'm now clocking in a 6.66, which is a terrible number, um, 0 to 100 time, which is actually just over half a second faster than it previously was. So I'm, I'm very happy. Obviously, you can always go a little bit faster. I think with a heavier fuel load, maybe there would be some better grip at the back, fresher tires. But to be honest, there's always a way you can push a car to be faster and faster and faster. It'll never end. There's always a bigger fish. So I'm still very happy with the way the car set up. The fact that it didn't give me like any issues whatsoever after 19 runs, 19 times to the red line through what, two or three gears. So I'm very, very happy with the way the car is now. So again, I just want to give a big thank you to the guys from ATM Chip Tuning for making sure that this car is not only punching above its weight, but healthy as well. It just gives me a lot of peace of mind. Um, I just also want to reiterate that we always try to do these videos in the exact same way over and over, making sure that the road is flat, clear of any debris, uh, not dusty or anything, and that there's no unfair advantage towards the car as well. But essentially, that's that. I hope you guys are happy with the results we got out of this car. Again, it's only a stage one tune. There's no hardware, no new tires, nothing. Um, and I think that's just incredible. It was really money well spent and I'm, I'm a happy guy. And I hope you guys are as well. If so, please comment down below, like the video. Let us know if there's anything you disagree with. We'd love to learn. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, cheers.